Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. So, last time we learned the Master Blast by taking the Gunan Trials, and then we got a lot of new monsters from Mount Crack Trota for it to fight in our tank. So today we're going back to Call My Bluff, saving the last ten slimes, getting the last few items, hopefully the last monster, and clearing things up, and then after that we're going to go back to the Tomb of Tootin Slime to do some farming. And by that I mean item and monster farming, not like actual Harvest Moon-like farming. So right from the get-go, now that we got Master Blast, blam. Three slimes in here. We have Julian. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rocket. You did a smashing job getting past that crystal wall. Apparently there are more of them dotted all over the bluff. Yeah, they are. It's Mr. Hooli! Rocket, you saved me! You're just like your father. I wish I was that brave. And Mrs. Hooli! Hello, little Rocket! Thank you! Is my dear Boo Hooli safe? Oops, I shouldn't call him by his full name. It embarrasses him for some reason. I'm glad to hear you've rescued him anyway. Thank you so much, little Rocket. <laughs> Hooli's first name is Boo. I forgot about that. Well, anyhow, let's get them back to town, and get the free stuff. You must have used a Master Blast to get past that crystal wall. That means there's no stopping you now. I'm sending you this to say thank you. Ooh, a recipe for an Irritable. <laughs> I love the pun there. Irritable, Irritable. You receive a recipe for Irritables. I arrived safely back in town, Rocket! In fact, I'm staying in your house! Uh, That's weird. Are you, do you not have your own house? I hope our Hooey will turn into a good lad like you have. Oh hey, he gave us straw medicine! This stuff is really healy! You stumble on some strum, straw magic. Hooey sends his love, um, says hello, I mean. Don't you overdo it out there, Rocket. Mama Mia and I are cooking up some nice nourishing treats for when you come home. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. She's a pacifist, but she loves to mingle. You grab a goddess statue. Goddess statues are only really good for um, alchemy and not for actual ammo. It's teeny. I don't like heights. I want to go home. All right. Bring in the slime knight with me. It's so nice to be home again, Rocket. I've had enough of heights to last a lifetime. Boinberg's quite high up too, though. Especially for someone of my size. Ooh, he gave me the ever recipe for Miracle Sword. Yes, that's a much easier recipe to make, because it just needs medicinal herbs and shurikens. Medicinal herbs we will be able to get very easily fairly soon. Eh, I don't need the girder. I'd rather have some, uh, walking corpses. This is the only level you can get walking corpses on, after all. Alright, well that's done. I also do want to pick up the Oaken Club. At some point in the game we're going to need quite a few of these. If we want to get 100%, that is. Alright, so that's that cart done with... We can also destroy the crystals and get a new area. Hey, Mole. We already have the moles working for us in the tank, so we don't really need to worry about them. I'm going to pick up all this stuff. And if we go to the left, there's going to be a tank battle for us to do. It's Beak Face. This is my patch, Swine Ball. You want to make an issue of it? Be my guest! I do. I will conquer you. You better know what you're up against, Squite. This Splatty Panzer's a mean machine. It's the Splatty Panzer, Quack with a Vengeance. It's like the upgraded version of the Platty Panzer. But we're the hero of Solmania. Oh, hey, they have a living statue in their tank as well. We got a better crew now, though. Alright, Baron Ball is going to use the upper cannon, Wordle's going to fire himself at the enemy, and Living Statue is going to use the lower cannon. Oh, you ain't got nothing on me, kid. 
Oh yeah, my shell's gonna turn a few heads. So yeah, the Wordle shoots himself out of the lower cannon, much like Huli. But he deals twice the damage if he hits the tank, and he's not gonna get knocked down by a single piece of ammo. I don't feel dizzy anymore. Alright, yeah, they threw a shield at us, and he took the entire shield to his face, and was fine. That was an interesting uh, trick shot. It just occurred to me that the living statue is kind of slow. Oh, wow. Beak face is in our tank. Not for long, though. Oh, Beak Face just is dead now. Okay. Blubba's carrying a bunch of stuff. I appreciate that. Wordles know how to hurdle. Yeah, they do. Oh, my mirror shield. Yeah. Hopefully that'll reflect something. We are running low on ammo to throw. Iron arrows aren't even that great, but I mean, they're one of the, they're not terrible, so. I gotta put them in my tank, basically, because I don't have many better options. Oh yeah, we are dominating now. Would you look at that? I hardly got no HP! My Wordle's defeated? No! Must have taken too much damage. Ooh, my Buster Sword! Yes! Buster Swords are really powerful. In fact, I'm gonna throw it out of the tank last? just to give it the best chance of hitting their tank. I'm gonna just go into their tank as early as possible. Okay, yep. Their tank is gone. You stay away from my engine, you schmuck! The enemy's engine will crumble. Slime alert! Get him, you pile of rabble! Goodbye. Yeah, most of the tank battles in the game are super easy, to be fair. Oh, yay! Steel Broadsword! Very nice. Yes! It's Splodgy Dave! Cool! You really helped me out there, Governor! Now I can get back to me shop at last! I'll be opening it as soon as I get back to town, so come have a butcher's when you get around. You're one mean piece of gloop, kiddo. I ain't no match for you. Splodgy Dave's the one who runs the shop. Now that he's back in town, we'll be able to buy stuff from the shop. I've got myself a shop next to the church. You should come and have a gander one day. I reckon you'll be in out and out quite a bit, so I'm giving you this as an introductory gift. Oh yeah. Keep intruders at bay the quick fire way. It's a very versatile Vulcan gun. Vulcan gun is a very interesting piece of ammo. Essentially what the Vulcan gun does is, it itself can damage the enemy's tank, but it doesn't damage that much. But rather, you, if you throw it on the ground, it won't change direction while it's bouncing. And then you can buy bullets for it and throw it in the gun and it will blast rapid fire and deals a lot of damage that way. I will put it in my tank to show it off eventually. Oh, 
My mimic. Come to me, my prey. All right, destroying these crystals. And oh yeah, it's another rail cart. Oh, and a thousand weight. I thought those were only on Mount Crack Trota, actually. And we got another tank battle over here. I believe it's a cat. No, it's a cacti ball. You need a sombrero to keep the sun off your pale blue skin, amigo. You gonna burn. We'll see about that. You wanna pick a fight with me, amigo? Try me. I ain't spineless. Four cacti balls in the cacti ball sticks. Needleless destruction. <laughs> I love these puns. It's like needless destruction. Battle stations! Fire at will. Uh, no slimes getting in Spike's way, amigo. Well, we'll see about that. Well, first, first thing they do is launch themselves out of the upper cannon. We'll see how that works out for you. Wait, I have 2,000 weights in my tank? Really? I thought I only had one. Alright. I like how the Wordle acts like his own shield, but it's just like a powerful shield that's faster. Which makes the Wordle pretty good, actually. It's one of the better tank members. Except he gets defeated surprisingly frequently. I guess because he doesn't have that much HP. In fact, he goes down in just two hits in the overworld. They just have to be powerful hits. Yes, please! Yeah, you're no match for my Buster Sword. Except they knocked it out of the sky, oh man! Well, we're still beating the pants off of them, so I'm not worried even slightly. Even if they get our HP down to zero, they still have to destroy our engine, which is really hard for them to do, especially if you can just beat them up before they can even get to your engine room. Hi, Wordle. Alright, so the mirror shield's gonna reflect the iron ball into the other iron ball. Nice! Of course, the mirror shield's best ability is to just reflect the ammo and have it hit their tank. But, I mean, it's still a nice piece of ammo. Ouch, those golden arrows they're throwing at us do really pack a punch. They deal just shy of 50 damage, which is a significant chunk of my tank's HP. Sorry about that, Living Statue. That is the thing, the Living Statue is really hard to kill, unless you actually do do the full charge to last a blast, and then they die immediately. I'm taking this Slime Knight and I'm off to their tank. 
I'm gonna destroy them! And I like how <laughs> you get the pieces of ammo that fall down to the ground. It's a nice touch. Giving my Slime Knight a little bit of a rest. No, my Slime Knight fell asleep. Doggone it. That's alright. I made it this far, so... Also, if you stack three, like, golden arrows on top of each other, they don't make a better arrow. That it Level three is the highest level that a piece of ammo can get at. Ooh, bam! You fought well, Spike, but you're still no match for the Schliemann. Yes! We get a golden arrow! Excellent. Thank you. And we rescued Spot. That is, like, literally Spot the dog. With a smile and a laugh, he can light up your day Like the sun peeking over the hill Um, Rocket, thank you. I'll send you a letter, of course. Make sure you look inside. It'll be a little bit more exciting than a doggy bag. I promise. I can't remember what Spot sounds like. And even if I could... Oh, I skipped his dialogue. Now we'll never know what he said. That's alright. Um, let's see. Thanks for rescuing me! You're a top dog, you know? That is not Spot's voice at all. And we get a recipe for fire water. Not gonna need it! There's an easy way to get fire water on the next level. Anyways... We only got four slimes left. Wow. Come with me. Alright. We got a lot of stuff to destroy now. All that for a chest of money in it. Okay. It's not terrible. That's the one Big Daddy destroyed. Can't believe he threw out his back doing that. Those are easy. Alright. Over here, we got a bunch of chests. Perfect. Oh, perfect. It's sundown and we're fighting Ninny Hammer. Welcome to my, 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 my stamping ground. Want to see if you can hit, 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 hit me? I like how when you go into a tank battle with stuff on your head, then it, it just gets teleported back to town. My pyromaniac's a hundred thousand times, 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 times the tank yours is. He's got three living, uh, walking corpses and he's in the pyromaniac. Pure maniac, I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna beat him up. Let me hit, 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 hit you with shots. So the pure maniac is m much like other tanks, but it's actually, its corridors are a little narrower than others. Ouch. Wordles know how to hurdle. Wow, he has very little HP. If you can attract one of their enemies towards the door, that's even that's even greater because it'll automatically open when they get near. Oh great, we have one of their guys. Oh, never mind. Baron Balba kicked him out of the tank. How wonderful. Now the problem, of course, is the walking corpses are very annoying to kill because they come back to life real quickly. 
Ouch, I dropped my, 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 my hammer. It's your, 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 your fault I'm hammerless. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, so you can see their co the, the hallways here are narrower than they are in the other tanks. Just destroying their computers, no big deal. For me, anyways. All of their computers are now destroyed, which means all of the ammo that comes out of their conveyor belts is going to be on fire. Which means they won't be able to pick it up for several seconds. Actually, I'm just going to leave him to have his temper tantrum in this room. I'm going to make make you, you cry. Alright, you can try that. <laughs> if I stack these three on either heads... Woohoo! Level 3 Iron Ball looks pretty awesome. And come on, guys. I know you can throw stuff out of the cannon faster than that. I should have just got... Well, I don't have any characters who are good at infiltrating and sabotaging as of right now. Look at all those clubs that my guys threw out of the cannon. That's amazing. And how come every time I hit the guy, the ammo always goes flying towards their cannons? Oh, no. No, you are not throwing that out of the cannon. The level 3 Iron Ball is one of the most powerful pieces of ammo in the entire game. Deals over 100 damage. You're still alive? Come on. There, now you're dead. Men, don't throw shields out of, their can out of the cannon unless they're actually throwing stuff at you. Oh, here we go! Oh my gosh, the shield is almost going to be enough. We're, their tank is literally going to have 1 HP left. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, hey! It's a mirror! I actually will throw this out of the cannon. I didn't want to throw that many! Gosh! I also threw them out of the wrong cannon. That was stupid. Oh well. Ah, I don't like these tanks that have the two ways to go up at the top. I always go for upper way first. Goodbye, Pyromaniac. And we get a Spookleer Bomb. Okay, I don't object to that. Thank you. And we rescue Fangummy Bob. Rocket Unga! You say Fangummy. Fangummy like Rocket. Box strong. You break good. Fangummy no break box. We basically rescued Tarzan in slime form. I wanted to hammer it, 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 it out some more. Maybe next time, 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 time. No, I'm kind of done with you. We rescued the caveman slime, fa slime fang gummy bomb. Unga, you good fighter. You want to be Bob's tag partner? Bob thinks you take over whole world. Bob cheers you on. Unga, ga. Unga, this fang gummy is for you. Oh, we get a recipe for bastard swords. But again, easier to just keep going to Mount Crackdown and breaking that piggy bank if you want them. All right. Let's break more crystals. Thousand weight in that chest. Money in that chest. Cool.
How many walking corpses do I have at this point? Only nine. Oh. Thankfully, they're easy to farm on this level. Before I finish the level, I do want to get uh, 30 walking corpses. That way, I won't have to come back, hopefully. Got a statue in here? That is one of the... That might be the only spot got a statue spawn. At least on this level. So if you want... If you need goddess statues, that is the place to go to. This is also, like, the prime place to farm for walking corpses. Alright. I'll pick you up just in case. And let's go up a little- We've got to go up higher! Go up higher! For zombies, they don't look super terrifying, which is nice. The fact that every enemy has tails in this is a little weird, though. Hi, Mimic! Oh man, I got Well, I don't need a bunch of walking corpses. Oh, it's another dog slime patch. Ah, I was having a lovely sleep. I had a dream about climbing down a rope. Okay. Fascinating. We're at the top of Call My Bluff! Oh my gosh. So first off, if we go over here, there's a mimic and a shortcut. It takes us back here. Patch just barely made it in time. Ah, thanks for say. Oh, not again. I fell asleep in the middle of a set. Okay, that was weird. And we get an iron arrow. Also, are those arms or are those his ears that he's waving? You decide. Hi! You're coming with me. Everybody's asleep, sleep, sleeping. And hey, it's a seed of life! Our life increases by one! It's true, we only have four left, and the game's almost over, so... We have two worlds after this, that's it. Alright. I've been looking forward to this war and beastie. Now you managed to get to the top. You think you can bluff me, huh, wise guy? Well, I'm calling ya. This seven forker's no easy mark. This is one tank you ain't gonna beat. This, this tank battle can either be pretty tough or ridiculously easy. I'm warning you, Doc. You better watch out for the Enforcer's fire. You let one of my bullets into your tank and your history, my friend. It's the Enforcer! It's all gone prom. Love it! It's like a devil cat with a fork. And he has free living statues. He or she. But, like last time, I'm gonna just break into their tank as soon as possible. Scared of lightning, Doc? You will be. So the main thing of it, the main ammo that this guy or girl has are called lightning rods. Lightning rods, if they get shot into your tank, don't damage you. However, when they land in your tank, then it, it'll basically stick there and summon lightning every few seconds. It can summon anywhere between like 1 and 8 bolts of lightning, and each bolt of lightning, when it strikes your tank, deals 40 damage apiece. However, here's the thing. If you pick up a lightning rod and just throw it on the ground, it'll start summoning lightning. So if you break into their tank and just start throwing lightning rods on the floor, they're going to die really fast. And hopefully my slimes won't be stupid enough to just let the lightning rods blow up in our tank. Yeah. So they actually just threw them on the ground themselves. So every time one of those summons the lightning to the ground, it's dealing 40 damage to their tank. So I'm literally just distracting them here, and letting the lightning rods do their own work. I'm gonna hit these guys and kill them. 
Yeah, they're already... They're out of HP already. Also, that is a special conveyor belt that will always spit out a lightning rod. Even if you don't bring lightning rods into your tank, it will still spit out lightning rods for you. Which is kind of awesome. Alright, not that way. We're missing one HP, that's amazing. I think they threw a shield at me. But yeah, that tank, if... <laughs> this is why you don't only bring lightning rods into your ammo. Because then enemies can just be like, Alright, go in and do your tank, throwing them on the ground. That was... That was pretty funny. <laughs> and surprise, guess what we get? We get a lightning rod. Oh yeah, Mori Mori, Ragazzo Grazi, the amazing uh, rescue I, the rescue of passion and gusto. Now I be going back to the town, I be waiting for you there. When your passion is too much for bears, I help you, I help you the world of release. I show you the world of release. Yeah, my horn's burning up, this ain't no fun. Mori Mori will play an important role for the bonus episodes. Hi, Ragozo! Grazi Mil for saving me! Thank you very much, yo! Already you have moved the 55 Slime Ton Iron Ball, or no? After the 55 Slime Ton Iron Ball is gone, you have some grand e ahead! Wow! It's hard as heck and very valuable! You land a lump of Oracolcum! Thank you, Mori Mori! So I have one slime left to go, and that is the slime that you get at the very end. So, I'm just gonna go to monsters. Let's see, I have 16 mi I'm not worried about mimics. Walking corpses are who I need, because I can just farm for mimics easily on the Tomb of Tutankhamen.